This is a linear A-Flex driver. When you're hooking it up, there's an easy guide to know how much you can trim your wires so they'll fit into the connectors properly. This diagram will show you how much to trim and how much to leave on. Also on each side, there's a uh, matrix that shows which wires go to which connectors and what they are labeled. So you would take for the LEDs, the red wire and slide it in and it'll lock down. And then um, for the negative, uh, it's the blue connector. You can see how it relates to that. Normally on your LEDs, it'll be black. So you would slip it in there. And then you have your zero to 10 dimming. And your dimming, your, your negative gray wire will go into the gray connector. And your positive purple wire, which in the future will be pink, will go in here. The other two connectors are used for temperature monitoring and very rarely will you need that. In that case, if you're using those, they can be any color wires and there is no positive or negative. And it, it's the same uh, for the input. The matrix shows the color of the wire and what the wire is for, for the uh, uh, VAC coming in and the white connector is the neutral you do use wire and uh, white wire slide it in and uh, the line is black you would slide it into the black and then your ground the same thing you'd slide it in and it will lock down uh, the other two here are for the aux which is optional um, and you can, it's annotated with uh, yellow as positive, gray as negative. Very few people use the aux, but you would follow the same, same um, uh, procedure. Okay, on the A-Flex Compact, we have basically the same arrangement as is seen on the linear. You have a diagram here to show you the wire gauge and the uh, percentage of uh, shielding that you need to cut off for the wire to go into the receptacle properly and without exposing wire. Uh, you have the diagram of where each of the connectors go for the LEDs, the zero to 10, the temperature sense, and the aux. And they can be seen on the side here, corresponding color to the diagram. The same for the input wires. So for the LED outputs, you would have uh, uh, the blue, blue connector would be uh, for the uh, LEDs negative, which usually on your LEDs is black, and it would just be inserted there. The red wire for the LEDs would be inserted in correspondence to what's on the diagram. And then for the uh, zero to 10, you have your gray next, according to the diagram, which corresponds to the gray connector, and they just slip right in. And then the purple wire, which in the future will be pink, and that will slip in right into the purple connector. And uh, the same thing applies to the input. You have your neutral line and ground, neutral being white, the connector's white, the white wire will go in to the white terminal, the black into the black for the line, and the green for the ground into the gray. It's important not to mix up the gray connector with the black connector. You will damage the driver. And to remove the wires, there is a small slot on the bottom of the terminal block and you take a small screwdriver and slide it into that slot and press gently and that will release the wire so you can remove it.